how to create a blogger using own theme so today we discuss about the how to create a blogger website free website using with own theme is like as your own website now look here i'm searching for blogger.com i'm all logging with my gmail id so if you're creating new blog what option call is click for new blog i am creating for about digital marketing services in somajugura i am creating for this title why because my services will be there into the location called somajugura here i am give them my domain name dm services so is accepted my domain so already existing themes will be 11 select any one theme look here click for create a blog this is my all existing theme will be there up to 11 more themes are there i am selecting one theme i am creating my website here using with the blogger this is my existing theme i can make the one theme as a website now the website is called themexpose.com which theme you are interest which theme are interest just go to here so i am going to one by one option we'll check which theme is very comfortable i am select here so this is something like a you normal know, theme some here we'll select one by one so which is uh, highlighted by the social icon and the ad related everything we can set by here so i'm checking one by one so here just some selecting for minimalist see here this is a theme okay what that see it live just we'll take the live here this is a theme the desktop and everything here so we'll check by laptops so this is theme structure so they providing social icons and my sliders the theme but what are the posting done they show you using with the sliders now come down like this everyone they sharing with the one so every kind of will be using with the social icons so is very good for sharing information very easily so how to download your theme simple here click the option call is download so here if you need more options they charge for here 9.95 dollars remove the footer credits and everything nothing but the theme will be created by something like that we no need for that kind of credits you can purchase the theme will be 9.95 dollars this is a one time in paying once you download the theme you are paying with 9.95 dollars see here. if you need to more options video documentation on time online uh, one time payments for unlimited domains like this we need some like package it will be 30 dollars theme plus installation but i'm searching for download free option here click for download how much the file size is 124.1 kb click for download so file will be download here these are download theme version these are both of two versions are there one is called slider and torzel two options are there so look here what option call we'll check here see it live this is a slider this is a torzel so two versions so slider will be like this 
so which one you are select that option will be select by your team wise okay this will be like this okay select first one or select one which one is comfortable <laughs> so we can go with the first one here so just go to your new folder select this one click for edit with notepad plus plus so always you can use in software call notepad plus plus don't use edit plus plus always using with the notepad plus plus now here click for edit notepad plus plus this is complete coding here look each of blogger code will be there into here itself complete code just copy this code okay i'm going to where blogger dashboard select option call is theme click for edit html copy the previous code delete there is a theme but we can cut the code paste for where in the document by the purpose of backup save as blogger backup code then you close it so you copy this code now just copy this code place here done here click for save to. thing will be saving here now come to here refresh is applied yes or no caesar drop downs restaurants every option will be there look here this is the option so everything is common but we can take the other themes we can apply to the my blogger this is all your is based on the html code you are understanding the html code where we can add in the your urls that is very important is clear so here i'm creating for first to my home page first i'm creating my home page first of all i'm going to where post there is no home page is there yes or no so here if any apply the themes is complete based on your coding so where your coding will be occurred so how to we can change your menus everything we check by your theme the option call is edit html you understanding the coding part coding will be understand based on here like this about us drop down you can understand the names or the name call is about us look here i'm searching my about us link just go to my blogger click for theme edit html i'm going to my coding here what is option call is about us control f search your name what is that about us done this came here home page about us drop down what is the first one minimal sub menu with the subs now look here drop down what is the first one sub menu with the subs is there so how to understand my coding we are only looking for the menus option yes or no now here come to this here no source icons are there we can add it by using with the add this toolbar so there's your own options so clear what is that mega menu now come to here then then my mega menu so is understanding for menus or not so what are the name on the menus we can open that menu is using with the by search option so first of all i'm creating my page here go to the post create a new post 
I'm done my posting here. Just wait for a second. This loading page. So I'm creating the home page using with the post and create the one title is called Digital Market Services in Soma Juda. First, any services first I'm adding with the image. So you can make your own image using with the canva.com. You can make your logos and cover images, banners, posters, everything possible, and the pamphlets is possible with the, using the canva.com. It's a free of cost, nothing will be charged. See here, I'm taking for one folder. I'm selecting with my images. I'm adding with here. Just here. So after selecting image, a small or medium large or X large. You can use it for X large here. So here, this is column and will go with the left. So what are the service you are providing? One is called SEO, SMO, SEM, and SMM, and email marketing, and video marketing, and affiliate marketing. I give the solution. I can give this one. Services. So yeah, I'm writing for this kind of services using with my customer services in uh, Soma Juda. I'm using with the publish. So I'm creating for home page. So any creating as a home page a blogger, first you're using for where? In the post option, where the option call is post. We can create n number of posts. We can create n number of posts. In the previous, when you think this in theme, automatically this is called as the home page. Now look here. Is up here or not? Home page. Look here. When click, this is the image. So yeah, this is services. We can share it by the your using with the editing. Suppose here no abort is working. Abort is nothing but abort HTML will be there. No page is there. So I can create by abort page. Now simple here. I'm going to where option call is page. New page. Create a new page. The option call is abort has. I taking my website link, Rocketex Solutions. Click for about us. Copy this content, open, notepad. Copy paste. Why? If any content open the website, don't copy it for the other website. It's complete for their backend will be copied by along with the CSS. So your voice tip will be copied. So the time when you copy this content, first you paste for the notepad after creating for the other website. Done here. I'm pasting this here. So I'm adding this in one image. So every content we can using a specific image here. So I can export for X large. <laughs> Done. Click for publish. So about us created. But when you click the about us, what is showing here? Sorry, the page is not looking here. So simple one here. Just go to your blogger dashboard. Careful watch. Go to about us page. Click for view. 
copy this url perfectly check copy this url just go to your blogger dashboard the option call is theme click for edit html so is a about a simple one where about is that remove this link copy the existing link where and copy this link about us open about us copy this link paste on your about us menu option now click for here save t i'll check going to home page and clicking for about us this is my page called about us perfect or not now and second option is called what is that here restaurant restaurant i can rename for contact us rename for contact us now come to my blogger dashboard go to pages click for new page is called contact us copy here i am take the my desktop first i open my here my contact form here i can give here this links done so add my image so contact i'm adding with my own logo here done is middle paste my code so everything called hyperlink just select and click for hyperlink and hyperlink done is done click for publish my page was created after that click for view copy this url previous i am clicking for restaurant option what is showing here page not found here what the url name is nothing will be happen now click here i am going to where theme option call is edit html just come down here what the option call is restaurant is restaurant is showing for slash in a replace for my url in a restaurant i am replace for the name call is contact us <coughs> done already coding is there and changing only for rename click for save the now come to here click for home page restaurant rename for contact us now click here jopra not we come here if you click they will open my youtube channel so everything possible or not suppose you can highlighting purpose you can changing the color also simple i'm going to page edit you can see will be changing color as red red update come to your refresh suppose you can increase the font just go to your click for edit copy the entire one large click for update and then increase so if increase the font and everything is possible with your admin panel is called using with your dashboard is it clear so here suppose i not request the sub sub menu and sub menus look here what is that minimal sub menu so we not request suppose a drop down is only for only sub menus no need for the sub sub menus like this a drop down placing call my services one is called seo like email marketing we are in for this kind of options so in a drop down using rename call services so i'm going to wear team 
click for edit html in a drop down what is the name called i'm adding services select here name call services click for t <coughs> what is now what is the option call is home about us services contact us and last one is a mega menu a mega menu rename for like blog mega menu rename for blog Look here, we have a rename for what is called website. Simple here, just I'm going to my website, click for home page, copy this URL. When I'm going to the my dashboard in a website, an hashtag will be there. Click this one, select it, click for save it. Here, I show one option here, just I'm going to here. When you click the website, they open for the same tab as my website. Okay. When you click, they open for the other tab, new tab. That is called, please write down the syntax. Target is called underscore blank. Target is equal. Please write down the syntax. Target is equal underscore blank. So this is the final syntax for when you click the link, they open for the other tab. Now we are, I'm showing them on my website. See this one. So where I can implement this code, same copy this code. Just I'm go to my blogger dashboard. Where I'm using my website link. Just here. Click for save thing. After double close finish, you can using target is equal underscore blank using it double close. Now here, refresh. If I'm click the website, they open for the same tab or other tab. Other tab. Why? I'm using port call target is equal double close underscore blank. It's so very important. If you this is called anchor test. One tab to Another tab. If you click the same tab, they open for the same tab. It's called same menu. It's the same website. When you click this same link, they open for other tab. What is called? We can read it for the other link. This is called using with the target is equal blank. Is clear? This is a syntax for one menu to other other menu redirection. Please write down syntax. A space H R E F. Any hyperlink is called what is mean by anchor text? Anchor text what is syntax? H R E F anchor text. <laughs> so yeah, this is what we're creating for all menus. Now here yeah, in my drop down, I'm um, option will be called one four sub menus are there. In one sub menu, you can use in the sub sub menus are there. How to delete this menus, which is not required, we can delete that menus are here. So I can delete the menu call is a sub menu with the subs. I can delete this menu. I don't require the sub sub menus. So I can remove her this option. Just I'm going to wear blogger dashboard. What the option call is? Sub menu with the subs. Now come to here. I'm going to here. In sub menu with the sub, the other options are there. We missed some export. Now yeah. So carefully watch. I'm selecting this option. Okay. Start with the LI. Start with the LI. End with the LI here. LA nothing but least. HTML code. LA nothing but least. UL nothing but underline. Under list. Both will be there. UL. 
so we can using by two options are here one is ka l i and u l now we are just i remove this option open for notepad copy this code why just we checking purpose now here click for save thing now we'll check previous four submenus are there now refresh now how many three minimal power game and fashion here i'm changing the menu names one is called training affiliate marketing email marketing like that uh, videos affiliate marketing email marketing now here simple click this one i'm changing call minimal is called video marketing okay Affiliate marketing. Email marketing. So here, I'm creating menu call is services. What are submenus? Video marketing, affiliate marketing, and. email marketing now check previous will be like this minimal power game and fashion i refresh now video marketing affiliate marketing email marketing suppose your time consuming purpose just in the url when you click this one they go to where in your youtube url like you give the specific youtube url line with the target is equal Underscore blank. When you click, they go into the other tab. They go into other tab. Now I'm going to wait my YouTube channel here. See here, I'm open my YouTube channel. Selecting video. What the first one is? Video marketing, affiliate marketing, email marketing. I'm selecting for affiliate marketing video here. Now I'm going to my YouTube here. I'm selecting for affiliate marketing video here. So here. I'm selecting this video. What is that? How to make a money online with the affiliate marketing? Select this video here. Copy this URL. Close. Where I'm going to? Dashboard. What the option call is? Slash. After double quote, I'm using with what is that? Here, option call is. Target is equal double quote underscore blank. Is my URL using with the actual double quotes? They using with the single quote in the blogger. After that, after finish your single close, using with the tar is equal double quote underscore blank. Now select with your theme. Now we'll check. Go into your blogger, refresh. Go into services. Click for affiliate market. Is going to where my YouTube. Video. They're going to wear my YouTube video. Same like that. I'm adding with this. What's the next one? Email marketing. Now going to my videos. Here, what is that? Email marketing tutorial. Now click here. Select it. Copy this URL. Close. Where I'm going to? Dashboard. Where is email marketing? Ash. Suppose. If we have menu is there, no URL. We can using for ash. The one is not working. Menu is there. Suppose your menu will be coming soon. You can using for ash. For simple call, ash. The menu is not working. Menu will be there, but it will coming soon. You can using with the ash symbol. Now here, I'm selecting here. Sorry, underscore blank. When after using this double quotes. Save the. Now we'll check. Refresh. Always we can using with the refresh button. Why? Updating purpose. Control F5 with the cookies they will be copied. Using with the refresh or control F5 also. Now come to here. Click for email marketing. 
So yeah, I'm wrong promoting here something else. Done here. Refresh services. Good. Done. Is open with the email marketing tutorial. Now, what last one here? I'm adding this video marketing tutorial. Now, just my go to YouTube channel. We'll search by video marketing tutorials. Now, we'll check one by one video. Just this is uh, top tip for video marketing promotions. Copy this URL, close, go to my blogger dashboard. Here, already one option is there. Just the name for here. After that, I'm using it to target is equal underscore blank. Click for say theme. Now, theme will be same here. So some happening here, just give the space. This problem is space. The error will be occurred. Suppose you're not give the proper space, your error will be occurred. So be careful that space also. Now come to here, click home page. I'm going to wear services, click for is done. Okay. So you have one portion here. Suppose we're using for existing theme, okay. How to create a new menu? This also will portion. Like uh, in services, I have the menus will be three. I need to create one more sub menu. Just that will be called, underline will be copied with the, the symbol. Simple here, I'm going to my blogger dashboard. All the existing will be there here. Just copy this URL complete one. Enter here. Paste it. You can change name call. Simple. I can change name call is call. <coughs> Adverse tutorial. What is that? Adverse tutorial. I'm putting for Ash. Why? No URL is there. I'm putting for Ash. Click for save it. Now come to here. Home click. Previous, how many menus are there? Sub menus for the services? Three. Now check. Tutorial four. What is that? AdWords tutorial. Now check your YouTube channel. You can check by AdWords here. So is the AdWords exam. So yeah. I'm uh, just AdWords tutorial. Copy this URL. Best to do it in the as symbol. Best here, save team. Now we'll check. Click for home page. I'm going to wear services. I'm clicking for AdWords tutorial. My YouTube link will be open here. Done. This is creating for your sub menu. Suppose you are creating for main menu like that. About services. And uh, contact. I created by my own menu after before contact us. Simple here. Here I am copy this URL. Paste here. I am writing for digital marketing. Demo. Using with the ash. Here I'm not using target uh, is equal underscore blank. Why? This is my main menu. I'm not using the as a sub menus. Now clear. Just home page here. System marketing demo here. So in this, when you click this option, what are you working here? Only showing for as symbol. Why? In the URL replace form, I'm using with the hash. So here also I'm using with my YouTube URL. Same like when you click, they're going to make my YouTube URL. So just 
am reading for menu name college system marketing demo copy this one going to where pages i'm ready for new page click this page demo here demo i'm adding with my image proper here so image was added here x launch so alignment will be left i'm going to where my youtube channel click for home page i'm going to my new visitors coming to here You open this video here so what are options selecting here go to share go to share option the option call is embed any video we can add using with the blogger the option call is called embed url now click here embed copy this url Go to my blogger dashboard. What option call is HTML? Go to last option. Copy paste here. This come down here. So just come with the middle. Click for publish. Done. Now after that, click for view. Copy this URL. Where and place this URL. Which menu we are adding this system market demo? Just going to here. Theme. Edit HTML. Now here. System marketing. Yeah. We place here. Click for save theme. Now same value is saved here. Now click home page. I'm clicking for the option call is before that the option is not working. Now click. What is that? My action will be perfect. This time marketing demo. Now come to you. Perfect not proper first image along with my content and I'm adding with my video here. So easily we can learn with my demo class also. So clear, this is adding your website using with your own theme. Anything we can use, we can create the n number of pages, n number of submenus, n number of things also. Now, here, anything is common is layout. You can place your ads, anything will be possible using with your layouts here. See here, add gadgets. A topic we can place an ads also. Suppose, this theme you can apply for the own earning. The option call is called earning. You can apply by your AdSense. The AdSense will be approved by your blogger after three to six months domain age. When you're creating date two, up to how many months we can be looking for? Three to six months. After three months, you can apply the AdSense. It's not approved. We can start with the after 10 days. It's not approved. We can go with the after six months. But they need first option is called, they're looking for first of all daily updates. First option. Second option, visitors. First looking for unique visitors, regular visitors. How many members come into regular visitors? Second option, new visitor, third option. First is daily updates, regular visitors, and you new visitors. Fourth one is content sharing. How much sharing content you the social media and your blogs, everything will be looked by your bloggers. If four will be maintained on your AdSense approved purpose, any blogger, any website. First is daily updates and unique visitors, regular visitors, 
third one is the new visitors regular with the new visitors fourth one is the content sharing with the social media like facebook twitter youtube somewhere else we can use even here or this option here so already one option will be there slide share we can remove an option in this down line simple one we can click we can remove this option which is not required just select here we can remove this which is not required we can select i can we can remove this here so yeah and click and remove where well, i'm not going to dashboard in the front end part i can remove the, every options here which is not look interest we can remove the that option see here about me is there now click i'm not interested by in my about me page click here delete it facebook page i'm not interested click here select the remove this done is my home page we can create a number of posts on your home page it will show by one by one one by one like this so is a first post as yes i know i show the second post here now click here i'm going to where post click for new post i'm adding with the digital marketing training copy here select an image which may are comfortable just select an image and here i am with the one image i am adding my content here let me will be left paste done give me space each url will be not for confuse for the users click for publish now look here in a home page home and content will be there two we can add the content is showing for row wise first cells left and right will be up and down will be left and rows will be created here you can share easy content will be facebook twitter pinterest google plus anywhere you can add this one is it clear this and we can add your website perfectly is it clear so i'm creating my blogger okay perfect done so i can show my twitter and facebook plugins not for the follow buttons i can show some posts along with the follow purpose first i'm open here twitter here so i can post anything i show in your blog that is called embed code always always we can understand by the embed code here now i'm going to my tweets which are showing to the my blogger which post for regular purpose for follow the my twitter follow purpose now here i'm already done with my this post click here what option call is embed tweet they want give the one url copy this url when go to with the blogger dashboard <coughs> right down the option call is layout the option call is layout where you can show here simple come down here footer 1 2 3 will be there some option will be there here we'll check anything will be there in the footer nothing now come to here i'm going to here what option call is html and javascript i'm writing here
Twitter follow. Click for save the Now check here, refresh. Is my Twitter post. The purpose of the purpose of follow your page purpose. Easily they click, they came into my Twitter page, they follow the my page here. I can show one more post here. Just come to here. Which one I can share this post? I can show one more post. Look here. Which post you have to post in here? Suppose you are increasing for video views, some like that. Just I'm refreshing. See, I'm selecting one option here. So one by one option I'm selecting here. I can go with this. So yeah, I'm selecting this one. Click for embed tweet. Copy this URL. Where I'm going to blog a dashboard. Option call is layout. Where I'm adding this footer one. Now here. Yeah. Add a gadget. Three levels are there. Twitter. I can Facebook everything we can using now click here Option I'm using with the Twitter Twitter follow the three options. I'm clicking for save elements Just when I'm copy costing for Twitter select that option called arrow option called the embed Twitch copy this code and paste in your blogger dashboard in the Particular layout now refresh. So, here yeah, I'm adding this one simple here and come to here, click this one. Automatically, my video will be playing here. The video will be playing for where? Look at by Twitter. This purpose of increase my followers second one is increase my views third one is the uh, increase my reach using with my blog when when you blogger will getting traffic so you uh, will be started with your increase the users now here yeah. i'm adding with the last one here one more topic i'm adding with my twitter here just come down which one you have to add how to promote website in back page is done I'm going to here down here. I'm just embed. Copy this one. Go to where? My blogger dashboard. Layout the footer call. Add gadget. First, second, third one adding with the add gadget. HTML JavaScript. Place here. I'm adding with. Twitter follow. Save thing. Click for alignment. So we'll check here. Refresh. It will be adding with the three. One is post, two will be videos. Here. One, two is a videos. Middle one is a post. When you click this one, they're going to wear the Twitter or my website. It's going to my Twitter. Purpose of follow the my tweet purpose. See. It's clear. This is where you can share your Twitter post into where you're sharing with your blogger also. It's clear. This is now how to add your Facebook page into the your Twitter wall. Suppose your page wall is there. How to add into your Twitter wall for purpose of like your page purpose, like your page purpose. Please write down the URL for face page by green developers dot facebook.com slash dog slash plugin slash black slash page iphone plugin this is a plugin just copy the your facebook url you are facing with the here and you are showing with the timeline this is a proper width will be there here you can mention with width also so you can add anything else. Use small header. Suppose they're using the small header. 
So I am looking for capital letter. Now along with the my post, along with my post. Now come here. You have to not show your friends' faces. Adapt your plugin for content with something like something like this. They adapt with the content with you. Like this. Now click for get code. Code will be generated here. See here. This is the embed code. This is the embed code. Or else we can add this code into your here also. But we can add the two codes. We can add this code code into the way in your layout option call is the add gadgets. Suppose I'm not adding the this two codes, the plugin will be not appeared. We can add the two codes. So here, yeah. first this code will be appearing in the first one. Second will be appear for the this code. Now we're going to the blogger dashboard. Option call is layout. I'm adding with Instagram. Here is Instagram is there. Now click. I'm Instagram replace. I'm adding with which one? Facebook. Copy paste here. Click for save. And here I'm changing the space name here. Facebook. Here is some double B will came up here. Click here. Save for save arrangement. Now come to your refresh. Here only one icon will appear. Maybe the code will be not perfect. Now, simple here. Click for edit. Looking for remove option. Add gadget. HTML JavaScript. Copy this code. Writing for Facebook. Is the first two code. So what is my second code here? These are my second code steps. Click here. I'm going to add gadget. HTML JavaScript. Place here code into here. For save. After that, save elements. Done. So you have to how many codings are you required? Two codes. So if I'm adding one code, it's not appear. You can add, add with code will be two. First is the second code, second is the first code. This appear will be like this. Purpose of like your page, like your page, which is not interested. We can uncheck for that option also here. Like anything. Idea cover photo, view small header like this. Very small one. Show friends' faces, not interested. Suppose you give the height with the height. What is the minimum? 182 here. I view this 180 and view this 75. It will be like this. Will be like this. Now clear. If you increase height, one twenty. I will be this. So clear. I'm giving the empty space because I'm giving the default size. Is clear? This is way to you can create your Facebook plugin here. Is a Facebook plugin is a Twitter plugins. Twitter plugin is embedded. Facebook link is be using with the Facebook plugin URL. You can use your proper Facebook page URL. Automatic code will generate by the Facebook plugins. Clear? This is way to we can add your Facebook plugin for adding for likes and getting for followers purpose. Clear? This is for we can make your website using with the blogger theme and using with customized code here. 